Daisy Vande, welcome to Kajurao. Many of you might know Kajurao because here there is a temple complex full of these very famous Kama Sutra temple. That's how they are called, right? And this is the main reason why people come here to Kajurao. But is that all about it? I'm gonna show you a lot of sites of this town which are not only the temples. Of course I'll be showing you the temples but there is way more than that to see and explore and learn about in this beautiful town in the northern part of Madhya Pradesh. So come with me, chale! So here in Kajurao in this temple complex there are dozens of temples and these are the last remaining temples. Before that, until a few centuries ago, there were some 80 plus temples here. So see how majestic this mandir looks. These are very very old mandirs also. Like they, they were built uh, between the 1950 and 1050 more or less AD. So they've been here for a while. They are very very fascinating. It's so, so beautiful. And here you can see even more in detail. Hope this is like many people coming here to to Katurao think that these temples, the one you see behind me, and many more, are fully dedicated to Kadama Sutra and the sexuality and the depiction are just about that. But it's not like that at all. Actually, it's much more interesting and and deeper as a meaning the whole thing and maybe Samta can actually explain you this concept a bit better than me mm. so yeah you can just say okay so according to these all the temples represent four stages that a human goes through in life in this specific order first one is dharma or your values your moral duty second one is earth the meaning you add to life in the world so your work and what you contribute in this lifetime then there's calm after that calm is physical love it's also something that um, enables procreation enables the mankind to go forward so that's also a sacred thing and then there's moksha which is liberation so apparently souls and also humans in a lifetime go through all four stages to attain moksha salvation temples stand for that now people get preoccupied with the karma aspect of it but that is the test it's a distraction that many people um, you know, get distracted by and eventually they don't even make it to the sanctum it was made for that reason that some people will come and get so distracted by it they won't even focus on the temple they won't focus on the shivling inside or whoever it's dedicated to so yeah it's beautiful i think mm -hmm. Yeah, see, we don't have a guide and the lack of having an Indian wife is that I have a personal guide <laughs> for free in most places in India at least and she's very knowledgeable about a lot of things so even around the world she'll know a lot of things. We remember we, we travel together, we go <laughs> everywhere together so yes, if you want to know some more things just ask her, one day we'll make her a tour guide. Uh. <laughs> Hello. See even this side of the temple is so beautiful and from these statues I, I don't know how much you can see from this camera but you can understand that it is not all sexual at all some part of it of course but not all about it and look at how majestic even these parts are We're stepping back in history see here you can see how many different things absolutely they are not sexual some of them are like up there you can see in the center they'll be sexual on the sides they're not necessarily even here so actually a tiny part of them is kamasutra etc but understand there it's like life like uh, the sexual part of life is important is needed and that's the reason why we are on this planet right without that we wouldn't even exist but life is not all about that and these mandirs show you that too so these mandirs are not active anymore people don't pray inside it and they are just a place that people come to see and visit and understand about but they are not used where i am right now is the western complex so 
which is probably the most popular and famous because it's nearby the center of the town where all the accommodations are etc but remember that there are multiple complex uh, complexes of temples here so if you want to come and explore for that reason you'll have so much to do you can take multiple days here in Kajurao if you're into history and these kind of things by EMP you're hot now so this is Patni Kajurao is a lot very particular place. I will tell you that Kajurao is not only about the temples. Of course, the temples are a, a major part of it, no doubt, and they are marvelous. So, absolutely, I don't want to like, remove credit from them in that sense. But Kajurao is an amazing place if you love nature. This is a river and basically on the other side of the river a tiger national park called Panna National Park starts clean. Buffaloes, yeah it's very clean first of all which is cool and, and there are buffaloes on the other side to get these buffaloes I don't know where exactly it's going I don't know <laughs> very unusual sight here you know a statue of a man with a on a horse I think just here so random <laughs> so it's cool yeah Panda National Park is just there who knows maybe while bathing some tiger will jump on us or some crocodile will bite our legs off that's the bridge by the way which connects to Panda National Park you can swim inside here right now I'm gonna bring you luckily my camera is waterproof so I'll show you what it's like to swim here oh, and the water is perfect water is not even <laughs> it's not even cold or anything it's perfect temperature and I'm here right now swimming Samta also is joining me so yeah Kajurao is also about this Let's see how long before a crocodile bites my ass. Oh. Sampa is joining me. I feel so good. <laughs> yeah, she's coming. Okay, I wanna try to reach the island here. Let's see the rocks underneath. I don't know if you can see much, but they are a little slippery. But I'm trying to make my way there. Maybe I'll go up from that side. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, you can come to Kajurao, take a dip, swim a little, enjoy. So the road is on this side. Buffaloes are also gone. If you want to come to Kajurao, just experience the nature of it. You remember, you can come here, take a dip with the tiger reserve behind you, with some croco crocodile hunting you, but yes, you can. No, I'm joking, you can do it safely. It's nice and clean here, it's very, very pleasant. So, did you expect any of this in Kajurao swimming? Not. Nobody <laughs> talks about it. Uh -huh. People just talk about the temples and go back or go someplace else. But this is definitely worth it. So it's true, because remember, MP is a very, very wide state here in India and most of it is just nature. Yes, there are villages and cities here and there, but like there is so much forest, so much nature, national parks and all that. So remember to see that side of it too. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So, you here? Yes, here. Yes, here. Swimming bee? Yes, So, sometimes we will come here. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beautiful place. Yes, it's very good. So, Kajura is beautiful. You too, come and visit. Master. We are heading to the waterfall. You go first, Pele. Up, up, Joe, Pele, no? 
controls also everything excuse me hey hey paga le gaya Kachurao, grab a scooty, grab something, a bicycle, a scooty, a vehicle, and just go exploring because the what you find around the town is unbelievable. And it's full of these orange flower trees. I don't know what they are exactly. I know that whoever is from MP and is watching this video will know it. Please comment and tell us what tree this is because uh, we are very curious. We've seen it all over MP. Look at this view. You tell me how beautiful this is. Buffaloes, flowers everywhere. Like this is crazy stuff. Hello, Buffiji. Ram Ramji. Namaste. Ji. It really feels like we are entering like tiger territory here it's unbelievable We are lucky we get to experience these things in life actually we are very very lucky for that thanks world and life for allowing us to live this moment So somehow, through the forest, with our magic scooty, we made it to the waterfall side right now. Just to give you an idea where, where we are. <laughs> you can see it, we are in the forest, we are walking on... Your this. 500 year old wall. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, there, is, there was a sign saying 500 year old wall, the one we are walking on right now. And wow. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> this is where we are right now. <laughs> this is like straight out of jungle book. Ah, this is another planet, literally. <laughs> so, how was this adventure so far? The best one ever. <laughs> Insane we stuff. We didn't know there was a road. Yes, we created a road, but. Somehow we reached. I can see there is another viewpoint there. I wonder if we can somehow get there. Probably we can. Let's see how. So we are trying to reach a viewpoint because it looks like there is a canyon somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly. I'll try to show you. This is the forest we are going through. Looks like the perfect place for a tiger to be and chill around <laughs> no i don't think there will be anyone because anyway one of very big waterfall is nearby so probably there are enough people to keep tigers away here i'll show you a bit more these are stone steps and that's the viewpoint we are going to there is something written in hindi there i think Papniji can probably translate what's granite it? Granite Chattan, granite rock. Granite rock, okay. So we are at a granite rock. <laughs> Let's see. There is a fence around here. This is insane. Insane. Like people, if you come to Kajurao, you must come to this side. Absolutely. Especially if you're a nature lover, come here because it's crazy. It's really crazy. Look at this. Why? at this side where are we Bye. 
This is unbelievable stuff. It literally looks like the river. I'll show you even, even more. See, you can see how the canyon got dug in the in the rock here and there. Who knows how many millions of years this river has been flowing here for. And apparently the waterfall is behind there. And now we are a little late, we are not going to head to the waterfall. But you can understand how crazy this place is. It's insane. Oi! Yeah, I didn't know how did I see this. Kullu, Kullu Manali. Kullu Manali Pali Nempi. India is a very vast country, it's very diverse and if you get adventurous you'll end up in places like this one so just just go, don't think about it twice, just go enjoy yourself and I hope you enjoyed today's video Kajurao is mind-blowing, it's about the temples but there is way more than that to do here and remember subscribe to my channel this will help me showing you even more of this amazing country called india and as always travel caro zindagi jio